What's going on? What's going on? It's Monday. It's about 5.46. Waiting for Clarence to get here. Uh, we had a change of plans. We're supposed to be heading to Phoenix, Arizona for my last trip with the trainer. But they changed it and now we're heading to Portland, Oregon. So it's going to be a crazy drive going up there with all the fires and we'll see how that all uh, how that all works, I guess. But let's go. It's time to get out of here and I'm ready to go. Let's go. I drove about nine hours last night, uh, stopped at about 4.30 this morning. My trainer Clarence took over. Uh, I think he made it, I think he made it about six hours. So unfortunately I had to wait for my clock to reset. I could have did the 810 split, but then that kind of would have cheated me a little bit. So instead I just, waited an extra hour and 45 minutes and my clock reset to 11 hours so those of you that don't know this basically you get 11 hours that you can drive per day you get 14 hours that you can basically work 14 hours but you can only drive for 11 uh, during the last two hours of that 11 it's recommended that you find a spot to you know to uh, be able to park and rest for 10 hours you have to do 10 hours of rest that's according to the DOT so some of you may or may not know I think I said this in another video uh, I was supposed to be going to Phoenix Arizona for my last trip but we got rerouted to Portland Oregon so we're gonna be in Portland on Thursday actually we'll be we'll be in Portland tomorrow eve or tomorrow afternoon sometime and then our first drop will be uh, on Thursday at 3 o'clock in the morning and then we've got four different drops that we got to do Thursday and then we got to pick up a load on Friday and haul ass back and then um, I should find out on Friday what truck I'm gonna get because I'm gonna be kicked out here pretty quick and then Tuesday I'll do my test which is basically a pre-trip inspection uh, hook up the trailer do everything that has to do with that with the pre-trip and then log in and then take the trainer for a drive and let them see that I can drive um, I could possibly do in a backing up to a dock I don't know yet but we'll see what happens so anyway I'm hitting the road hope all is well hope everybody's having a great week and I'll talk to you soon peace I'm in Ogden, Utah. I'm at a rest stop, taking my 30 minute break. Gotta take a 30 minute break uh, every five hours or you're in violation. So I'm here at the rest stop. I just passed over the border. I'm in Ogden, Utah. Uh, once I take my 30 minute, I'll have a, probably about uh, another four and a half hours, five hours of drive. So, rolling, trucker life. Either I'm at a truck stop, or I'm at a rest stop, or I'm at the side of the road. Peace!
morning. It's Friday. I'm still here in Oregon. We're at our last drop. It uh, rained like a son of a bitch last night. I'm sure the Northwest really, really needed it. With all the fires and the smoke. It's crazy. It's not really that smoky right now. It actually, the air feels kind of nice. But I'm here in Portland. Getting ready to take off. Uh, it was a really good trip. I got to see uh, some family. And uh, yeah, it was really good. Did some more backing. This one was a tight one. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of space. But I pretty much got it in there. I had to have some help from Clarence, but working on the last week. So hope everybody had a great week and hope everybody has a great weekend. We're heading to Idaho, go pick up a load of potatoes and then we're heading home. So have a good one, everybody. Thank you, Phil, Jeremy, Jeff, Brian, Jesse, for coming out and meeting up with me. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Got some good news today. I talked to the head, the head boss, Don Lynn over at Witty Brothers, and I'm officially testing out on Wednesday. I already got my truck number. Um, when I get back to the yard, hopefully Monday morning, Clarence and I are going to do a walkthrough around my truck, make sure that everything's up up to par, uh, and then it's time to get it ready. I've just been told also that when I um, get done with my testing, I'm testing Wednesday morning, they might just kick me out on a load and hit the road. So exciting things coming along. So, but I'm here for the night. We try to pick up, pick a load up early, but they won't let us pick up early. So we're here for the night. So anyway. Hope everybody's having a great Friday. I'm sitting in a dirt lot, as you can see. I'm, there's our truck. I'm sitting in a dirt lot in, in Idaho. But see you all tomorrow, and uh, hope everybody has a great Friday night. Peace. Hello, Clarence. Hello, Clarence. Party. Get off. Get don't off. you have it? Can't you just say something nice and positive? Say yeah, something nice and positive. Yeah, y'all. He's been a good student. He's done a great job. <laughs>